Hey guys, it's Bruno and here we are with some more interesting people from VidCon. So first off, what's your name and what do you do? Uh, I'm George, I create cosplay content on TikTok. And I'm Bug and I also create cosplay content on TikTok. So who are you guys dressed as today? Um, I'm Venti from Genshin Impact. And I'm Klee from Genshin Impact. So what inspired you guys to actually start doing cosplay? Well, I've had many idols in the past, and I think they were, I've always liked to dress up. So it was kind of just like a, hey, that looks cool. So I did it, and then I've been friends with Bug since fifth grade, so I've known them for a while, and they were doing it. So I was like, I'll give it a shot, and here we are. <laughs> I started because I've been on TikTok for a really long time, and when I was a bit younger, I was seeing all these cosplayers and I also had a few idols of mine so I was like, I really want to try this out because it looked really fun and I did it and now I've been doing it for about four years. Wow. <sighs> What's been your favorite part about cosplaying? Mostly just the people who get really excited to see us. I'll get comments that say like in all caps, oh my gosh, you look so cool or like just the character name and it's so cool. I also like um, how happy people can be when they see their favorite characters and things. And it's also very enjoyable for me as well. Um, it, it has a lot of self-expression in it. And what has been the worst part, I guess? I mean, most people would say the money aspect, and that is definitely like kind of difficult. But then again, there is closet cosplay, so you can just create it with whatever you have in your closet, and it's still just as cool. But for me, the issue is motivation. It's deciding I'm going to do this because, you know, I struggle with a lot of mental health issues. And so there's a lot of long gaps in my content where I just didn't have the energy to get up and post. So it, it was quite difficult, but I've gotten back in the routine and I've been posting a lot more consistently now. I also say the motivation, um, mentally, it can really be hard sometimes. And so you think you're gonna do it and then you end up not doing so and then there's a gap and you just feel really bad. But things have also been getting better. So I've been getting more into the swing. But yeah, I think motivation is just the hardest part. Would you say cosplaying is a very expensive habit to fulfill or what would you say about that? Oh, absolutely. It, <laughs> uh, like just like just this this outfit right here was like $300. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. But again, like I said, just the clothes in your closet, you can create a lot of things with just your imagination. Yeah, isn't there a guy on TikTok who's like $1 cosplays or something or like low cost cosplay and he does like the most wackiest like DIY like it's a paper plate where he draws and stuff. It's, I don't know if you've seen that. Does that sound familiar at all? Uh, I don't think I've seen that, but there's like a lot of cosplayers who do like, they use fabric instead of wigs or paper. And I think that's so cool because like, it really is just like your creativity and you don't have to have the most expensive thing to make something really cool. Funding is a little hard too. A lot of them can be extremely expensive or they can be a little bit more cheaper. I think I think cost is like a really hard part of it. But as he said, I think that like the paper wigs and using like fabric and like string is super cool ideas. And I think it's like a cheaper thing for others to be able to do too. And it always looks great. Any advice for someone who's just getting into cosplaying? I would say you don't need to have the most expensive or cool looking thing. Just use what you have and you'll eventually get into a rhythm and maybe someday you'll get that expensive stuff that you want and even if you don't it's still a really fun hobby and people will find you and they'll like it no matter what also don't compare yourself to others it's definitely not fun don't pay attention to numbers just do it because you find it fun yeah i say do it because you find it fun don't compare yourself to others and just just do it for you you don't have to push yourself to do it just do it on your own time and do it if you enjoy it so how active are you guys in the cosplaying community how inviting it is or is it kind of like a hard community to even start getting connected with it's not a hard community to get into there's definitely some issues as there is in every community 
but it is definitely a very accepting one. Just have fun and people will people will like it. Some aspects like he said, some things can be a little flat, but it's really it's really fun to meet new people within it and I've met lots of people and I have a hard time socializing with other people but I've seen to be able to communicate really well with others in it. So what's the best way to connect with other cosplayers or cosplaying community as a whole? TikTok is definitely a big one. You could search hashtags or Discord probably has a lot oh, of gosh, communities. Good point, good point. Uh, Amino, Instagram. Reddit. Yeah, there it's everywhere. So I would suggest TikTok, but you can find it pretty much anywhere. Yeah, TikTok is definitely the main part of how I made so many friends and um, like friends who follow each other on there. And it's just, I think it's a really good place for cosplay. I have a little section. I wrote down some questions. It's like a lightning round. So I'm gonna basically give you two options and you just choose one that you agree with more. Alrighty, so for example, repurposing content or creating natively on each app. Creating new content is definitely fun, but like if you don't have the time, repurposing content is a good way to get yourself out there. Repurposing can also be a lot easier for people who have like the trouble for motivation. And so I think I think that one is definitely the one I choose. Smartphone filmmaking or DSLR filmmaking? Uh, smartphone. Smartphone. Manual shooting or automatic shooting? Ooh, automatic shooting. Automatic. Are you introverted or extroverted? I would definitely call myself an ambivert because depending on like where I am, like here I'm very extroverted. I've been on camera many times, but like at school or like at a store, you would probably see me just being quiet. Um, I'm more of an introvert. I can be kind of an extrovert when it comes to conventions because I know that these people are here for the same thing as me. So I feel more comfortable, but mostly I'm an introvert. Yeah, you share some common ground already. So it's a lot easier to like ice break in a sense. Yeah, absolutely. So TikTok, IG Reels, or YouTube Shorts? TikTok. TikTok. Solo or team creator? Team. Team. OnlyFans, Patreon, or Fan House? Patreon. Patreon. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Appreciate both of you. Where can people find you? Give them a shout out, all your socials. Uh, you can find me on TikTok at Confazi, C-O-N-F-A-E. SI <laughs> or that Dream SMP cosplayer on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok at Straw Buggies. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.